Well, good morning, South Florida. I'm Andrew Perez. Here's a look at stories making news on this Saturday morning. Over to this, an injured officer opens fire at a getaway driver in Northwest Miami-Dade. Sky 10 over that scene on Friday evening. Northwest 63rd Street and 21st Avenue. Officers say the driver of a white Dodge Challenger was speeding away from police when he crashed into an electrical pole. The driver then accelerated into the officer, which pinned him against his own car. The officer then opened fire on that driver. Both men were taken to Jackson Memorial Hospital. Their conditions are unknown at this time. A man police say was caught on camera vandalizing a bagel shop in Miami Beach was arrested. Investigators say the surveillance video shows 24 year old Nor Abido tearing down a pro Israel banner hung by the Bagel Time Cafe in October, then pulling out a sharp object and slashing the banner several times. Abido faces charges of criminal mischief with prejudice. Officers say they're going to focus on another woman who allegedly vandalized the business as well. Put the machete down. No one has to be hurt. No one has to get hurt. Put On, the down. What seems to be the problem? What seems to be the problem? Newly released video shows the moment a North Miami Beach officer fatally shot a man who was holding a woman at knife point. The video from last March shows 38-year-old Edridge Alexis holding a woman hostage. After several attempts of negotiating with Alexis, one of the officers shot him. The Miami Beach State Attorney's Office says the shooting was legally justified. A business owner in Brickle, meanwhile, proving that the sky's the limit when it comes to your dreams. Rosana Mentos says her goal of becoming a flight attendant didn't pan out. She decided to open her very own airplane-themed coffee shop. The cafe is set inside of a Delta plane that stopped flying in 2019. The menu is also complete with luxury coffee and lots of tasty treats. Remember, as breaking news happens, we've got you covered on air and also online. You can head to our website, local10.com, for more.